Very busy day at Miami-Dade election headquarters. And we just got an update there on the vote total so far. Local 10's Hetzel Vela is live in Doral to continue our team coverage right now. Hetzel. Well, Christy, some brand new numbers when it comes to in-person voting here in Miami-Dade. I want you to take a look at some of these numbers just released as of 5 p.m. You can see here in Miami-Dade County, more than 115,000 folks have voted in person. You can see Democrats, they're still leading, uh, followed by folks who are not affiliated with any parties with uh, 37,000, slightly over 37,000 and Republican, about 34,000 folks who have voted here in Miami-Dade. But again, the bulk of the results will come sometime after seven o'clock. This is the mood here at elections headquarters, election day, Miami style. Throughout the day here, we have seen voters drop off those vote by mail ballots. It's my first time voting, so it feels pretty good. You know, go Joe Biden. It is our future. Uh, you know, it's my future, my future family's future. So it, it, every, every vote counts. In Florida's most populous county, close to 170,000 vote-by-mail ballots have not been returned. Of those, about 46,000 are Republican ballots, more than 70,000 are Democrats, and close to 50,000 are non-party affiliated. Remember, you have until 7 p.m. to drop them off at four locations. Miraculously, more than a million votes will be displayed to the public at around 7.15 tonight. So that'll be all of the vote by mail results that we've gotten through Monday, um, as well as all of the early voting votes. In 2016, voters in Miami-Dade overwhelmingly went for Hillary Clinton. She won the county with 66 percent. This time in early voting, Democrats in Miami-Dade lead by a little more than 100,000 votes. But look at the independents. So far, more than 277,000 have voted. No telling at this point which way they voted and what party turns out more people for in-person voting. How late we finish is really going to be um, a measure of how many ballots we receive today on Election Day since the deadline for voters to turn it into us is 7 p.m. And when you talk about ballots, the supervisor of elections also telling us she has staff, folks who work for the, uh, the Elections Commission here in Miami-Dade County. He will be at different central post office locations to pick up ballots to make sure those are counted as well. For now, reporting live in Doral, I'm Hatsa Vela, Local 10 News. All right, Hatsel, thank you. Across Miami-Dade, a steady stream of voters at polling places, even a bit of a festive atmosphere at some of those spots. Well, it's a very big day. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live to show us the festivities and everybody who lined up to vote today. Hi, Christina. This has been unbelievable here at North Dade Regional Library, a polling location that for much of the day has felt like an outdoor street festival. I just want to point out this group here, for instance, under this white tent, they have been smoking up sausage sandwiches and hot dogs, giving them away for free for anyone who casts a vote. You can see on this side, more food trucks have arrived. And because of these DJs that have been staged throughout the day, we have literally seen voters dancing into the main event behind me. You're actually gonna meet one of those voters in a second, but take a look, no long lines. That really has been a signature feature of this election day. From South Dade Carolina Blue Kings, hottest, Corona Black. to North Miami-Dade County, a festive atmosphere at several polling locations on an election day capping a contentious campaign season. Feels like some election day tailgating. Well, exactly. We're uh, brothers of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. We want to get into good trouble and support the people that are coming out to express themselves civically and encourage them no matter what to come on out and vote. We're going to hydrate you for a cause. And highly of this morning, voters lined up early. It went pretty smooth. Uh, I've come for the last, like, 12 years here, so uh, it's pretty smooth. At North Dade Regional Library, a steady flow of voters, but no long lines. What made you decide to vote in person on Election Day versus do the early voting? You get... It's, I feel more into getting to who I want to get what I've got to give. This is one of four locations in Miami-Dade where you can drop off a mail ballot by 7 p.m. today. The three other locations are South Dade Regional Library, the Elections Department in Doral, and Stephen P. Clark Government Center in downtown Miami.
I think we're going to see good numbers. NSU political science professor Charles Zeldin predicted a strong in-person turnout today, but perhaps a faster experience for voters this election day, given more than a million Miami-Dade County voters have already cast their votes during early voting. We aren't going to see the multi-hour lines that we normally would have expected in a popular election because we sort of bled off those numbers into the early voting. Let's not get complacent. That's early voting. We got to run it through all the way through the finish line. And the sun beginning to set on that finish line just over an hour away. Again, the polls close at 7 p.m. And if you have a mail-in ballot at home and you planned to drop it off at one of the drop boxes, again, that is a hard deadline. It needs to be in that box right at 7 p.m. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.